simply have to focus on this man. Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so I expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. The action is next. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Empoli up against Juventus. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the starting 11 for Empoli. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing-backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. Shimon Zhurkovsky, and he read it well, intercepting it. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Weston McKenney starts alongside Adrian Rabio in the centre of the park. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Bartosz Berezinski. And on to Caputo. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Locatelli, Federico Gatti, Rabio, very quick thinking there, Youssef Male, it's with Berezinski, Male, still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it. saved it well Emmanuel Jassy a Juve free kick here Cambiasso Locatelli Ball with Danilo Good looking sequence Chance to play it in Well not cleared away completely Rabio And tidy defensive play and with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here, into the second half. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Danilo now Rabio not the best challenge free kick well now he's walking on eggshells you might say next time it'll be yellow and a substitution in the offing 
Marco con il numero 18 Rasban Marin Chiesa he read the situation defensively and did his job Adiani Smiley Luperto well, we're into the final half hour Mali well they have the ball once more Razvan Marin It's with Berezinski. Shimon Zhurkovsky. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Danilo. The ball with Chiesa. Oh, that's splendid play. To jump in front. He had to score, and he does. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Just 15 minutes remaining. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. And slipped through beautifully. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Kostic. He's given it away. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And putting pay to the danger. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. It's a substitution for Juventus. Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Bartosz Bereszynski. A chance to whip it in. He simply couldn't beat the first defender. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters.